The biggest thing that everyone was watching in this first debate was what was going to happen with Donald Trump. And he really set the tone right from the start when the moderators asked if anyone on the stage uh, would be willing to run as a third party candidate if they weren't the GOP nominee. Trump basically said that he couldn't rule out not doing that. So that really set the tone that from the start that he was going to be combative, that he was going to not shy away from some of his outrageous, controversial positions. Another big takeaway from this night was this exchange between Rand Paul and Chris Christie. This was over NSA, the Patriot Act, civil liberties. Chris Christie is a former U.S. attorney and says that he's the only candidate that has gone to the FISA courts that has had to actually make use of the Patriot Act, so he knows the value of it. Rand Paul says that these are laws that are intrusive, that are poking around in Americans' emails and phone records, and he doesn't trust Barack Obama to be doing that. One of the big surprises of the night was the strong performance by Ohio Governor John Kasich. He was the last of the top tier candidates to get in the race. And there's been a lot of anticipation for his candidacy as governor of Ohio. He obviously has a lot of sway in a state that's incredibly important for all presidential candidates, Republicans in particular. No Republican has ever won the White House without winning Ohio. We were really watching the dynamic with Marco Rubio and Scott Walker. They're two younger candidates who um, have been looking to make a splash in the race, relatively unknown to a lot of Americans, but have a lot of potential. Both of them decided to stick with a strategy that was uh, based on answering the question, not you know, tangling with a lot of the rivals, not tangling with Trump in particular. One of the names we expected to hear a lot in this debate was Hillary Clinton. And she did come up, but she wasn't the focal point as much as I think that we expected. You didn't hear much about Benghazi. You didn't hear much about her email issues, which are two favorite things for Republicans to bring up on the campaign trail.